Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Prague, Czech Republic, and for our stay in Prague, we rented an apartment which is just south of the old town. It's a pretty central location. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through our entire apartment, give you a full tour of our apartment, show you just a little bit about what it could be like to live in Prague. And then after that, probably just walk around the neighborhood a little bit. We'll go to the park and I might have a cup of coffee. There's a coffee place I wanna check out, uh, but, Okay, let's go inside. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you the entire apartment. It's a simple apartment. It's a pretty cool building and you kind of walk through this entire, okay, I'll show you. Let's go. Massive door entrance and you take this little yellow, take this yellow key card and you gotta kind of like hang it around that little hole there until it picks up. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Once you hear it beep, then you can open up this huge door huge and heavy. You enter into this kind of like really thick hallway walkway and you walk into this, it's not really much of a courtyard, inner courtyard, but it's kind of like the center of the building and that's where we go up the steps to our apartment. And then this is the kind of courtyard area with buildings kind of surrounding, not so much of a yard, but I think that's some garages over there. And then there's a variety of different staircases like over here, but this is ours here. Step inside, welcome to the building. There's no elevator, just steps. We are on the fifth floor, so it's always a bit of exercise to get up there. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a little pretty, pretty cool staircase. Okay, let's go. And it's pretty cool how the staircase just wraps around kind of like unfinished concrete look to it. And going up the staircase, don't rely too much on this hand railing. It's not the most sturdy hand railing. Okay, I think this is the third floor. Okay, fifth floor made it and then that's the view going down that winding staircase my first time to ever see a door like this it's pretty serious a leather mattress okay made it to the fifth floor and let me close this door and this door is kind of interesting too it's like a mattress on the door i've never seen a leather mattress on a door before i just close this and actually I really enjoy the five floors of staircase, uh, especially if I have no bags, but with the suitcase, it's a little bit challenging. And with like, if you're carrying a lot of groceries, it would be a little bit, a, a little bit difficult, uh, but hey, it's like just routine exercise every single day coming up. Before we do anything though, I have to say this is one of the coolest features of the apartment. Leave my shoes here at the door, yes. <laughs> I have to say, they do look a little bit goofy, but they are extremely comfortable. I might need to get a pair of Crocs for my house at home. Uh, I know, yeah, uh, I hate to say it, but they are very comfortable. Now that I have my Crocs on, let me officially welcome you to our apartment in Prague. And it's a simple place. It's just one bedroom with a whole bedroom. And then I also have to apologize that it's pretty messy in here because we haven't really had the time to really put anything away and Micah just grabs things and throws them all over the place. Just a, a warning before we get started. I'll start with the left-hand side, which is the living room. And actually this entire room is the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, all in one square room. One light here. Oh yeah, and I think there's one light here. Forgot to turn that on. Okay, there we go. Over here, this is the kitchen. Have the sink, very small sink, um, with just one faucet and one sink. There's a water kettle. I do like how they have gas stoves so you can get the power, you can get the flame. And then down below here, that's the oven. And there's actually another fridge here but I don't think it works unless you have to turn it on somewhere, but this is just kind of like an extra built-in little drinks fridge. And you have all your cabinets going up here, here. This is like the whole 
water heater system and uh, the water heaters also heat the is the heating central heating of the apartment too so you turn on the water the central water heater here and then over on this side is another fridge and the microwave and just some other like kitchen so there's not a lot of storage in this apartment i think so that's why you kind of just have to include it wherever you can this is the fr freezer i don't think we've been doing a whole lot we've got some eggs some milk for mica and some water and that's about it oh some yogurt and then over on this very messy table is where I've been working. Uh, this is my computer, my hard drives. Uh, all of our stuff is pretty much just sprawled out on this table as well. But this is the dining room table. Oh yeah, and one more thing. My beer mug. I went to this restaurant. The chef was so cool. And on my way out, he gave me this beer mug as a, to take home with me. This is my only souvenir from Czech Republic and I'm very excited about it. And by the way, it is an awesome restaurant. Probably my favorite restaurant that I visited during my time in Czech Republic, which was only three days, but it was the best. Okay, this is the living room. Sofa here, my socks are drying on the heater. Sofa bed here. I guess that's a tiny TV, which I have not even really looked at or seen or ever turned on. Another sofa here, another like, little sofa chair here. I don't think we need to test all the sofas, but I will just test this one. This one is my favorite one, the one that kind of gushed down in. Uh, and even though it's not a huge apartment, what's cool is that this whole space, this main room is very spacious. So it makes it look maybe bigger than it is. Oh, and then one more thing to show you in this room is the windows and the view from the outside to the outside. Okay, so there is pretty good natural light as well. Let me just open this window up Ooh. oh i didn't even oh, okay wait i think you open it that way i think you can also open it that way there we go okay you get one of those windows that you can open that way and that way ah and that fresh breeze yes good morning prague Ooh. That's like five stories down. It's a bit of a drop off. Okay. And I do also quite like these old style wooden floors. I um, mean, what's nice about them is that they're quite stable. They're not the creaky type of wooden floors. So there's more like, there's like a better foundation as opposed to just the, the wood. So it looks nice, but it's not too creaky and loud. I will show you down the hallway. This is the bathroom and the, just the one bedroom. So I'll show you that next. Come on in here. There's a little bit of a closet area here. Just a little bit, bit of extra space. Turn on the light. You know what? I guess I think the power went off. Like right as I, I noticed that one of the lights went off in the back. I think the power went off. Uh, okay, so there's no light in the, the bathroom. There's a lot of natural light in the bedroom, but no light in the bathroom. Here we go. Welcome into, oh yeah, that's nice. That lights the whole bathroom. Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Uh, kind of an older style bathroom, but I like the bright blue tiles. There's a toilet, there's a bidet, there's the washing machine within the bathroom as well, and then the old kind of tub style shower. But the most impressive thing is how big that sink is. I think I could take a bath in the sink. It's so huge. Just for a little scale, I'm gonna put my face next to that sink or in that sink, just to show you how huge that, that sink is. It's a big sink. Okay, I think that is everything for the bathroom. Let's move on to the bedroom. No lights needed in the bedroom. There's plenty of natural light in here from the windows again, from the windows that uh, face the inner courtyard. And then this is the one bedroom of the apartment. And again, no jumping bed test this time. It's a little bit too fragile of a bed this time. Uh, but yeah, the bed is okay. I've been sleeping okay. The mattress is very, very springy, that's for sure. Okay. And that completes the room tour. And I think that completes the entire apartment tour. I think I've shown you everything in this small apartment, uh, but it's been, yeah, it's been good. It's been, the location is really nice and the space for just three of us, my wife and I and my son is, the, the space is fine, adequate. Uh, from here, I'm gonna go walk to the park and actually Ying and Micah, they're already at the park, the nearby park. 
uh, playing. So I'm gonna go meet them. I'll show you the park and show you just a little bit of life outside the apartment around the neighborhood. It's time to say goodbye for the moment to the Crocs. I wish I could just keep on wearing them all day. Oh, keep these in the house. Oh, heavy door. Uh, just down the road from where I'm staying, yeah, there's a church and then there's a whole kind of park with a small little playground. Uh, but I think it's a pretty good area also because just if you walk just 15 minutes or so, you get to the downtown old town of Prague. A little street swimming, swimming. And I think it's a pretty good location to be. Yeah, we pretty much only walked. I made it to the park and the church is over on this side. I'm not sure exactly which church it is, uh, but there's a whole park. There's, yeah, the parks in Prague are wonderful and there's so many green spaces, so many parks. I'll just cut across into the actual park from here. From the park, I'm just walking down the road. Just a really, it's really close. Uh, but there's a coffee shop and they roast as well. So I'm gonna go check that out next to end this video. Then with a name like Mama Coffee, there was no way I could resist. Nice little coffee shop in there. They have some seating, it's laid back, um, and the coffee actually looks really good, smells really good. It is really good, yeah. Nice little coffee shop, highly recommended. Yeah, and what a name. I have to look up, and I may have to like, re, like I might need to write it on the screen because I don't know if I have the, I don't have internet right now, but. It cost, I believe it's like $286 for one night, two nights, three nights, for four nights at uh, our apartment in Prague. It's gonna be a lot easier if I just write the amount per night right here. Overall, a pretty good stay. It's like a, it was a basic apartment, but the, I think for me, the best thing about it is the location. It was just a, it, out of the main touristy area of Prague, yet only 15 minutes away by walking, so that makes it very convenient. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more uh, travel tips, hotel reviews, accommodation reviews, and traveling advice on Market Prague. So make sure you subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.